Hello, in this video I would like to introduce you my library for communicating with SQL uh, Microsoft SQL Server. In last video I showed you how to install this server for our purposes, so uh, if you didn't see it you can uh, see the link below, uh, below the video. Uh, in the link for Codacy Store will be also in the description of this video. So, uh, from this store we will download the Microsoft SQL library for our Codacy development system. And you will install it to Codacy uh, 3.5 environment. So, package manager, install the Microsoft SQL package. Which I will install. Yes, okay, I understand. Customize the top. Yeah, I will choose only this. Next, next. Okay. Now we will have to wait till it will install. So installation was completed, everything looks nice. In this folder you will find the examples and user guide for Codis Microsoft SQL library. So finish. You can see that we installed it. And if we will go to users. Here, version 1.0, examples, Raspberry Pi target, open it. This library has three targets. One is for uh, control windows. Uh, the second one is for PFC 200 from Vago. And third one is for Raspberry Pi. So, we loaded the example which I made for this purpose which contains Microsoft SQL library function block which has a uh, string for IP address uh, place for port, there is a timeout for connection uh, host name, username, password, database there is a structure for query uh, connect, disconnect, execute SQL here is a structure for response here is a status and error message and outputs are Connect successfully, login failed, execute SQL error, command uh, executed, OK, and uh, row down count. Uh, so, the second function block is for ping, so you can try if uh, the device is reachable. Uh, and after there are four functions for converting variables. So far we have uh, function for get real the second one is for getting bool third one for get dint uh, it works also for int and for get string it works like this that you you will write there the number of the column and number of the row and the structure with SQL response and in uh, variable error value you will get back your value in real so we will connect to our PLC. Firstly, we can try if uh, if if, it's, if the connection to Microsoft SQL Server, which we installed uh, before, is okay. The SQL Server runs uh, on uh, Windows Serum on VirtualBox on dif uh, let's say different computer. So, I have there Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and if I will put uh, the IP address of the server, uh, comma 4000, which is port which I uh, choose, and in here I can choose Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication, I will choose the Win uh, SQL Server, the login is test PLC and password is host, as I as far as I remember. Now I'm connected to database. 
here I can see the test DB there is only one table uh, which we made last time so okay from this computer we are able to connect to SQL server so I will disconnect oh I'm still waiting for opening the codices parameters are back and here I will write the IP address of my PLC press enter and if everything is okay and it's green I know that uh, on other side there is something so I can press login yes I will download the example to PLC press run and on PLC we can see uh, online status of the of the function block but for easy orientation in library manager I created uh, templates for visualization which is template for query template for response template for connect and template for settings so for easy working with this library uh, there is also web visual uh, for trying this there is a microsoft sql server settings so i will write there the address of the of the sql server there is a port i'm running it on unusual port for uh, sql but it's 4000 there is my username test plc password which is host database was test db now i can try uh, server by try ping so if i will get green it means that uh, there is uh, something if i will put another ip address it says me nothing so if there is no green uh, the server is not reachable i will press connect now I'm connected to the database and according to the manual which is uh, also in the same folder like like examples uh, there is a command how to create the table on the server which we will use so I will put it there just test db press F5 so I created a new table which is called test plc I will add the values the same values which are in the manual so 0 test 1 2 4 5 6 13 comma 2 true hello youtube 78964 0 0.4 values are there. I can write select command. I will prepare it for PLC. So there is a place for queries. Uh, in this uh, example there is an array from 0 to 5 of, uh, of string 255 so I will place there a command if I press execute I can see if there is a green it means that command was successfully executed and also the response gets some numbers so I can see that I got two rows and four columns and the name of columns are there so it's the same like like in, uh, in the user guide and if i want to convert uh, the data in here i will just have to have to tell to uh, the function on which place is the value so in 
this uh, side I choose column number two which is which contains string so it tells me hello YouTube if I will put column one it says me test one two column four I will get the real value column three I will get double integer value and column one I will get bool but it's not visible there and in row 2 there is a true value so it's quite simple here is a server settings here you can connect to the server and also disconnect place for queries and place for response so disconnect from the server and uh, this is an example for Raspberry Pi but in the folder there is also example for PFC 200 from Vago and uh, codices control for Windows so you can try it uh, this library is uh, runs in demo mode uh, for 30 minutes without license and after that you, you have to you have to buy the license or just restart it so thanks for watching and I hope that I will see you at the next video